Welcome to our video on the best soundbars for large rooms. Today, we will be taking a look at some of the top options on the market for those of you who have a big living space and are looking for a powerful and immersive audio experience. We will be discussing the features, specifications, and overall performance of each product, as well as providing you with some tips on how to choose the best soundbar for your specific needs. So, whether you're a movie buff, a music lover, or a gaming enthusiast, stay tuned to find the perfect soundbar for your large room. You can also find the links to discuss soundbars in the description, so you can check them for more information and the latest prices. Starting our list with Sonos Arc. The Sonos Arc is an incredible piece of audio equipment. The Sonos Arc is the manufacturer's flagship soundbar, released in 2020. Like most Sonos products, it has a sleek and premium design, with built-in voice assistant capabilities for hands-free control. Dolby Atmos and DTSX support give you access to lots of different content on streaming platforms and Blu-rays, and you can upgrade the standalone bar to the Sonos Arc with subwoofer plus one SL speakers if you wish. With the Sonos S2 app, you can pair the bar with other products in your Sonos ecosystem to spread sound throughout your home too. The overall count of eight woofers and three tweeters means this soundbar will fill a big room easily. You probably won't get close to touching max volume on this one. The Sonos Arc is the company's biggest and beefiest soundbar given now, a few years on from its release. The Sonos Arc can deliver the best quality Dolby lossless audio, found on cutting-edge Blu-ray discs, and can provide the 3D soundscape of Dolby Atmos object tracks from discs and streaming movies. This means that it can bounce certain sounds off the walls around you so they feel like they're coming at you from all angles. While all this might sound complicated, the Sonos Arc setup couldn't be simpler involving just a couple of steps on the smartphone app. The minimalist cable connections and all-in-one system construction add to this no-fuss feeling and streamlined aesthetic. If you've got a room with four walls and a roof then, this is absolutely one of the best soundbars around. There are some caveats for those with expansive TV rooms or smaller rooms that might be able to get away with using the smaller and more affordable Sonos Beam Gen 2 instead. It's also important to note that it only has one HDMI port. It doesn't have a pass-through port like most soundbars do these days, so you lose the use of the port it's connected to. But all up, the Arc is a pretty amazing bit of kit that can mimic impressive 3D sound from a sleek and self-contained unit, making it the best Dolby Atmos soundbar around if you want one without a separate subwoofer or speakers. Though being Sonos, you could add those later, of course. At number two, it's Samsung h Hill Hue Q950T. The Samsung h Hill Q950T is the first unit on our list that comes with satellite speakers to support full surround sound. The Samsung h Hill Q950T is a 9.1.4 setup. It has a neutral and balanced sound profile that delivers a thumpy, punchy bass suitable for a variety of audio content. It also has several sound enhancement features like a graphic EQ plus presets so that you can tweak its sound. As a high-end soundbar, it comes with Q-Symphony a feature that works in tandem with compatible Samsung QLED TVs to create a more immersive audio experience. However, despite its elevated price point, it has a mostly plastic and fabric build, which feels like a bit of a step down from Samsung's other premium models that use metal grills. It also has a screen on its top side, which is impossible to see unless you're standing directly over it. Still, if you're looking for a soundbar that works more closely with your Samsung TV, this is a solid choice. Overall, the 9.14 system is pretty remarkable for a soundbar and is clearly tailor-made for the object-based sound delights of today's Dolby Atmos and DTSX audio formats. Audio streaming is supported over both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, which includes high-resolution audio file formats and even lets you connect with certain phones just by tapping them against the soundbar's bodywork. Physical connectivity is fair for a premium soundbar, comprising two HDMI inputs, one HDMI output, with eARC support for obtaining lossless Dolby Atmos DTSX soundtracks from compatible TVs, and optical digital audio input. The Q950T sound quality is, in a word, incredible. At its heart is the ability to deliver even the most dense, most layered, and most complex of movie mixes with huge amounts of power, and without a hint of weakness or distortion from any of the system's many speakers. The sound can fill even huge living rooms with a fantastically large, complete, and immersive bubble of audio, delivering levels of bass depth, mid-range openness, and triple detailing that haven't been heard before outside of a strong, large speaker system. 
At number 3 it's Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.2.4. The Nakamichi Shockwave Ultra 9.2.4 on Amazon is a hugely impressive unit at its price point. If you've seen our review of this unit, you know some of the main reasons we love it. Allied speakers on top of that. And all of it managed from the extremely capable centerpiece, the soundbar. The Shockwave Ultra pulls double duty as both speaker system and receiver in one, adding a huge amount of functionality. When it comes to filling a room with sound, none of the other options on the list will have as many actual speakers dedicated to producing sound in the space. This is another case where you'll likely never need to touch the high end of the volume level the speakers are capable of. As far as a speaker ecosystem and software backing, you won't ever need to add speakers to this system. So discussing options, there is a bit of a moot point. When it comes to actually streaming audio on the device, not only are there a plethora of input options, but there's also Bluetooth support for streaming from your phone or another Bluetooth-enabled device. At number 4, it's Polk Audio Magni Max Home Theater Soundbar. The Polk Audio Magni Max SR is a 5.1 setup with a sleek design. It comes with a discrete subwoofer and two satellites. It has a stereo-dimensional array, surround sound feature advertised to help create a more immersive sound. Also, it has a voice-adjust dialogue enhancement feature and you can adjust its volume to customize the dialogue performance based on your preferences. While many soundbars focus on the music and the surround experience, the Polk Audio Magnify seems to be tackling some of the other edges. It wants to be your home companion for listening to podcasts and audiobooks, and for watching movies and shows where the dialogue is just as interesting as the explosions. That said, there's still a wireless streaming option to get all of your music on the unit. There's no microphone array within the soundbar hardware itself, but Google Home Speaker's support over Wi-Fi allows you to pipe in the smarts to the soundbar. The Polk Audio Magnify Max has a discrete center channel, which helps to more accurately localize voices within the sound image. This channel offers a balanced mid-range, so voices reproduce clearly and with detail. There's also an adjustable voice adjust feature that lets you control how crisp and clear dialogue sounds. While you can wirelessly stream podcasts and audiobooks to the bar via Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and Chromecast built in. Unfortunately, it doesn't support Apple AirPlay. At number 5, it's Bose Soundbar 500. The Bose Soundbar 500 is a great bread-and-butter model that doesn't try to do everything, but should still be able to fill up even a large room well. The price point here is lower than our other options so far, but that doesn't mean you aren't getting quality sound from the included speaker, just that there are fewer of them. Like Sonos, Bose comes with a pedigree of high sound quality that's reflected in this model. And there's actually a decent opportunity to scale up your system after the fact with this unit, a trick that none of the other models listed so far save the Sonos R can pull off. Within the Bose smart speaker ecosystem, there are subs, satellite speakers, portable speakers, you name it. They're making a play for this space by allowing all the devices to talk together. Just be aware that, although you can add speakers, you can't add Dolby Atmos after the fact. With Alexa's support and the Bose Music app, this is also one of the more connected, smarter models we talked about so far, right up there with Sonos when it comes to streaming audio functionality. The Bose Music app is just as capable as the Sonos offering, though a little is less polished, giving you the capability to connect up all your favorite streaming services for easy management of the soundbar and what's playing on it. And with that, we come to the end of our review. We hope this video helps you to choose the best soundbar for your large room.